What's going on guys? This is Jesse from Modern Day Tech and today I'm doing a review on one of my absolute favorite books for organic chemistry, Organic Chemistry as a Second Language. Now this is for the first semester topics, so topics like serochemistry, nomenclature, um, very basic reactions will be in this book. Now please, please, please do not read your textbook. Your textbook is for extra practice, but do not do not go through a textbook like you would an actual book. Or goes about practicing and applying new concepts to new situations, not about rote memorization, which they go over in the introduction, which I highly recommend that you read. The way I went about doing Orgo, um, personally and as a organic chemistry tutor, is to go through the chapters in order. Um, do all of the practice problems and make sure you understand why these things are happening and not just that you got it right. So it's important to know the why in Orgo. Now for most of the things you'll be doing in Orgo is more about just finding out where something is negatively charged and it will attack something that will be positively charged. Uh, so you need to figure out where these charges are happening and what it is going to attack. And that is pretty much organic chemistry in a nutshell, if I were to give a one sentence summary of it. But there's so much more you will learn, and it has it all in this book, as you see. From resonance, um, acid-base reactions, um, you either even get into SN2 and SN1, very basic organic chemistry reactions. But all in all, this book has everything you'll need. Go through it in order, do all the problems, and I guarantee you'll have success in organic chemistry. So I highly recommend you check out the Organic Chemistry Second Language and please let me know if this review was helpful.